how can a border be put on the island of Ireland against a third country when the border is simply a little fence and in some cases it runs into a, someone's farmyard or into someone's house. Mm -hmm. That's the type of border we have here. You've also got the possibility then that smuggling takes hold. Smuggling can of course provide uh, income stream for criminal groups, for paramilitary organisations mm -hmm. and then you can have possible mobilisation in the medium term mm -hmm. by dissident republican groups or as we've heard during the week, there's threats of loyalists from loyalist groups yeah. as well. A lot of concerns for myself crossing mm. the border every day, mm. delays, uh, you know, just as we experience as children, uh, our parents taking us across the border, you know, checkpoints, uh, searching, it just takes up a lot of time. It is a concern also for our employees. We have a number of employees who are living in Northern Ireland, some of whom are actually from another, other EU countries. So for them, they don't know if they will have the right to stay working in, in the Republic while actually living in Northern Ireland. Well, that's, 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 this is it. Like, yeah, you'll have to go. If, if, there's a, if there's a hard bother here, we'd have to go. Well, we wouldn't be going. It'd be, it'd be over and out. There is absolutely no benefit whatsoever, regardless of whether there's a deal done or not, or whether there's no deal done. It's, it, Brexit is a disaster for, for this area, which um, is on the border between Northern Ireland and the Republic. On that night, as usual, I was glued to the television um, and watching it. And at the, at the beginning, when the results started to come in, first of all, there were a number of areas in, in England, in the northwest of England, etc., which voted to leave the European Union. But I still wasn't worried. But it, when it got to about three, half three in, in, in the morning, the realisation suddenly struck that these people have made this serious decision. With any, uh, without any good, valid reason for making such a decision. Mm -hmm. I can remember the economic border that there was in the 1950s and 60s. Mm -hmm. I can remember what the military border was in the 70s, 80s and 90s. When the border was there, not only was it a border on roads and land, it was a border in people's minds as well. People from the Republic of Ireland would not travel across the border to, this, to Northern Ireland. Um, because of British Army checkpoints, because of bombs, because of attacks on the army, they just didn't feel safe. Mm -hmm. And this area suffered tremendously as a result of that border. But we've seen, especially since the, the referendum, the growth of dissident Republican groups. Mm -hmm. And we can see it, you know, there have been marches in Newry, bombs in Derry. Why would we give targets to those people to recruit in this area? because if there's any sort of infrastructure on the border, it will be a target for dissidents. I'm in uh, Northern Ireland at the moment, in the UK. Um, this is the only manifestation of the border between the UK and the EU. It's a difference in the type of asphalt. Um, I'm now in the Republic of Ireland and I'm in the European Union. And that is really what the border means to people around here. That is the only manifestation of the border. Officially, there would be about 200 and odd uh, crossing points, but yes. they're only the official ones. You know, there are obviously lanes uh, which would, uh, in farms, like for instance, in the farm that's behind us here, um, on the right hand side, it's in the Republic of Ireland. On the left hand side, it's in the UK. There's no border up along the field. There's no sign of, of that you're moving from one jurisdiction to another. As a matter of fact, the cows move quite, quite freely between the EU and the UK. The only other manifestation of, of the border as well is that sign, which gives us kilometres per hour. So we're in miles per hour in the UK, we're in kilometres per hour in the... Uh, You're at a border crossing between County Monaghan and County Tyrone. Uh, you have the village of Mullen, which is about half a mile to a mile back that way. You've got the village of Calden, which is about two miles that way. This would be, if we go back to the establishment of the border in 1922, this would have been probably one of the most violent places along the border. Short term, like, I wouldn't be terribly worried 
and maybe I'm, I'm in a minority on this, and I've an immediate return to violence. Like, there's no army up in the hills waiting to come down to attack border posts. That's, they just don't exist. There's limited support for distant Republicans. But it's going to have an awful disruptive effect on people's daily lives. Mm. So you're going to have somebody, if posts did come along the border, you're going to have people been stopped, people delayed. People who are manning those posts are going to have a difficult relationship with the local community. Mm -hmm. So you're talking in an area where you've had conflict over generations mm -hmm. and people's relationship with the state and the agencies of the state is going to become more confrontational. In Monaghan especially, um, you know, it's a, it's a thriving community. The business is really good here. A lot of mm -hmm. entrepreneurial spirit, mm -hmm. lots of homegrown industry, mm -hmm. and lots of Northern Irish people employed here. Mm -hmm. And they travel across the border every day. It's it's, it's a road north to south. It's, it, there's no visual international border. Mm -hmm. So we all come and go. We, we shop in the north. We have friends, family in the north, mm -hmm. in the same vice versa. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it'll only cause major disruption. This is a sculpture I was working on. Formed it from one block of uh, local sandstone. Mm -hmm. This block actually came from Northern Ireland in County Fermanagh. Mm -hmm. So I began with a large boulder and worked down to this piece. And mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, it's a piece sculpture. Mm -hmm. We have our two communities and we have our bridge mm -hmm. joint connecting the two. And mm -hmm. it's hoped that we'll keep it here within the county as a symbolism for the future and the, the hope and the eternal peace with, mm -hmm. with North and South. This village was, uh, and this factory was essentially, um, it was a flax mill uh, back in the 1800s. Um, it turned into a shoe factory um, in the 1920s. Um, it was a shoe factory right up until the 70s. It employed uh, well over 100 people. Um, and and the village was a vibrant village, um, and people, uh, many of the people who lived in the village worked in the factory. Um, the troubles uh, uh, were kicking off fairly big in the in Northern Ireland, and this is the border region in the seventies. Um, the they closed the border road, and around the same time the the factory closed down as well. Um, so the, the village itself become a dead end village um, and people gradually moved out from the village. 2009 we set up the lighting um, company uh, in part of the, the, this factory. Um, in this very room, in fact, this was the full factory that we used. This, at the, this yeah, is the beginning. Yeah. Um, and gradually we grew the, grew the lighting company um, within the factory. We eventually took over the, the whole building. Um, and we now employ 65 people um, here, and many of the people who work in the factory also live in the village. Um, our biggest fear with any sort of a border would be any kind of customs delay, even if it was delay by one day. Once that becomes a little bit unpredictable, it would have a massive impact on our business. The amount of information that's available to us, you know, it's kind of trying to make a contingency plan or to plan something without knowing what we're planning for. You know, really, it, it, it's a black hole. We don't know what is going to come. We don't know if it's going to be a hard border. Is it going to be frictionless? Mm. Or, you know, is the island of Ireland going to be seen as, one, you know, one unit where we, we're still within the EU kind of um, customs union? We, we don't know. Before there, was a border, before there was a border there, it took days, it took, it took two days maybe to get to, to the factory. Uh -huh. You had to go through the customs. You had to those checkpoints, those, the troubles were here then, so you had checkpoints everywhere. Uh -huh. okay. We don't want to go back to that. that I would tell them to drown Boris Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be saying that on this. <laughs> We're going to take that out, that's between you and me. Take yeah. that out. Yeah. <laughs> I would tell them to forget about Brexit. Uh -huh. and leave us the way we are. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's going to be, unemployment is going to be unreal. We started this campaign uh, three years ago, after the referendum to leave the to leave the UK, and we did it because we were a bit fed up of politicians arguing about the issue of Brexit, but they weren't talking about how it affected people like me. I had a compromise, as the people in our group did, because we're leaving the common agricultural policy, and I expect 
50 or 60 percent cut to my farm payments. We're out of common fisheries, we don't have access to structural funds. But given the history that this border has and a very violent past, the absolutely key thing is there's no infrastructure. That's why the backstop is so important. We're in the customs union, we're in the single market, and there can be no manifestation of a border. Mm -hmm. So there's no, there's nothing there for people to attack. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the sad part of, of some of the Brexit negotiations that have gone on. It's become an identity issue. The, the issue about being less British doesn't pay your mortgage, or being less Irish doesn't pay your mortgage. It certainly doesn't pay mine. And it's about economics. People have to see it. It's, it's this, it's a field, it's a river, yeah. it's a house. These houses are here, are yeah. divided 50-50 yeah. by the border. So that's why this is such a difficult issue.